Hello and welcome to this tutorial of how to make a bulb or plush, but not just this plush, we will also learn how to make this bulb min. This weird Roblox bulb orb that my brother wanted me to make, it had wings and it was green, I don't know. And if you're advanced enough, which I don't think I am, but I did anyways, you can make an open mouth bulb orb. It has nails. This weird pieces and absolutely nothing else. We will use the normal bulb orb as a base so let's clean a little bit. Much better, for this tutorial I'll make an orange bulb orb. You'll need this template that is in the description. Part 1, Cutting the Pieces These are all the pieces after we cut them, there are 3 front body piece, 3 back body piece, 2 legs and feet, two eyes, and the little antenna things, the dots on the back of the bulb orb will be made with little pieces of fabric that was left after we cut them. Like you can make a circle here, or two here. Then, what you'll do is take these pieces and get rid of them because those are trash, instead you'll use these. They are in the fixed version of the template. But let's make a plush, you may ask, aren't orange bulb orbs brown, and that's a good question, and the answer is that I don't have brown fabric. Turns out I did have brown fabric so, I basically wasted a lot of black fabric, I replaced the pieces with their brown equivalent except the eyes, they are indeed black, and one of the differences between the old and new pieces, if you were wondering, is that the new ones are bigger. Part 2, Main Body. Let's begin sewing the head slash body slash face. Take two of the three face body piece and sew until you reach half of it. Then place the third and continue sewing, do the same later to the back of body. This isn't what it should look like, I got a weird shape, it was less pointy that I wanted. So, I'll sew again this time a little bit more triangularly. This already looks much better. We made half of the body, let's continue with the back side. We'll do the same thing but with the other trio of pieces. Remember that I'll sew more triangularly because my body pieces was wrong, if we turn it inside out, it should be the same as the front part. When we'll sew them make sure to align it with each other, remember to leave a hole on the bottom. Here it is, let's turn it inside out. The shape came out great, let's stuff it then. Wait. Oh no, I've ran out of stuffing, what I am gonna do, I need to finish this video before December. Oh, I am sorry little one. But I really need your stuffing. Please don't look at me like that. Okay, th 3, 2, 1. Oh, thank you Cosmic Entity that gave me this. Also I broke the bag, oops. Alright then, let's stuff it. Now we need to close it, we made the hole on the bottom so if you can't hide the thread, and I'm an excellent example. It's on a place where nobody is gonna notice. Part 3, The Eyes. We are going to take one of the eye pieces and we are going to sew the edge with a running stitch, after going around it once, we'll pull the needle, it will curve, we want that, stuff it and continue tidying it up until it's spherish, then close it. We got into the tricky part so listen closely, take a piece of paper, place the eye like this, then mark its shape, Roll it to the side then mark again, do this again, three more times. Now we don't want any part of the initial circle to not be covered by the triangles we just made, so extend them if it's necessary. It's easier to cut fabric than add it. Now we cut into the fabric the cross we made.
Cover the back of the eye with the cross then if you see any place where the fabric points outward, cut them. We want this piece to be as flat as possible. Then we sew it. If you didn't understand this, look at the video, it should help you understand. Let's sew it to the eye, I'll sew only on the edge of this piece. Next we make the pupils, it should be a simple circle but I wanted to add details, so ignore the hole. Then we sew it to the eye. Now we take the, what's the correct term, it's similar to what slugs have isn't it, let's see. An optical tentacle, okay that's a weird name but I'll use it. Take this rectangle, please note that mine was way too long, in the template it's already shortered, and we sew the ends to each other. After that we turn it inside out and attach the optical tentacle to the eye, leave the sew line on the back. Then stuff it, do the same with the other eye. Part 4, The Legs. Make a tube by sewing both ends of the rectangle, turn it inside out, then sew it to the foot leaving the sew line on the back. Then stuff it. Part 5, Attaching it all. Now that we got every piece ready let's attach them together starting with the eyes. You can place them anywhere really. You can place them really close to the mouth or really close to the back, really close together or far apart. I'll sew them around here because I think it'll look the best here. After we're done with sewing both eyes, let's continue to the legs, the legs goes on the back but I think they look better right on the line, so I placed them there. Here is what we have made until now, but there's still some stuff missing like the dots on the back, the nostrils, and the teeth. Part 6, Details. Cut two nostrils and teeth. Cut some dots. Let's place them where they should go to notice if we have to change the position of something. Then we sew it. And here it is. The finished plush, I think it looks okay, definitely not the best bulb orb I've made, the optical tentacle, the legs and the feet are longer than they should. But at least it resembles it a little bit. Also on a different note, Merry Christmas I know that this won't be published on Christmas but I won't publish something, until June knowing me. I hope you have a great time and a happy new year, and I hope you liked this, bye.